Welcome back, everybody, to another little video that we're doing. Let's jump in right on. We got the Milwaukee MX Core Drill, which handles up to a 6-inch bit. I think we've even ran an 8-inch bit very carefully, though. But it's Design Max 6. So you get some water coming through, just like a standard core drill. It actually comes through the center of the bit, if you've never seen this before. And also the cordless battery-powered water tank supplies you with the water. Keep it dry, keep it cool, you know, breathing in dust. And here we go, we're off, we're drilling. What I'm doing here is actually drilling around the old galvanized water pipe that's in the foundation. I'm drilling around it, and then I'm going to remove the chunks of concrete around the pipe. That will allow the pipe burst head to actually go through this 3.5 inch hole that I just cored in here. And I can just leave it with some PVC and fill it back in with some mortar, hydraulic cement I should say, and be on our way. Getting ready to uh, replace this old galvanized water line. I've already core drilled around the old line, so I'm going to open it up. This is the old galvanized line, completely plugged with solids and build up of rust over the years. I've run my cable through to the street. Got my new water line connected. Street, got its open line. I'm going to shove the cable the rest of the way through. They're going to pull it out. Without having to dig up the whole yard. We'll see. There is no way of knowing how this is going to go until it actually starts. It may be successful. It may not want to go right away. Might have to dig up another spot. Or it might go pretty smoothly. No way of knowing. There's no job. No two jobs alike. Here we go. Here we go. They're pulling the line out. The cable. Keep on going. Uh, let me just take a brief moment to apologize for the vertical video when I'm uploading it to a platform known for its uh, landscape position. But uh, yeah, that's hindsight on my, pro on, on my part. And also the video kind of abruptly ends when I'm done with the job. I don't really get to show you how it, can, uh, how it ends, but you'll get the idea once you see what's going on out here. Again, this is out of the street, opposite side of where I was at in the basement. I pushed a cable through, they cut the line, pull it out the rest of the way. It's going to attach to the excavator, and then I'm going to give it a tug. And then at some point, I'll go back into the basement here shortly and show you what it looks like as the cone head, the wedge head, sets, gets put in the old galvanized line and blows it apart, basically. Slices it clean open. It's actually a pretty cool process when it works. No. Boy, it goes nothing. Sorry? Right into the air. Yeah, just a little bit. Now as we get ready to go back into the basement and watch the wedge cone head hit the edge of the galvanizer as the excavator is pulling on it. There's there's so many variables that come into play, you know, how old the pipe is how long it's been in there and what shape and condition because this actually took a lot of force to actually blow that apart and let's see if I can't play that in slow motion there's been cases where the galvanized just slice right open like nothing and there's been times where the soil has been soft and damp enough that it's actually pulled the whole pipe out like right away without any resistance this one actually happened to be super tough not only because of the hardness of the galvanized or, or, or whatever made it so difficult but it also got stuck just outside the foundation it ripped the cables you see here and this happens actually a lot more often than you'd think when you're dealing with galvanized and and you'll see why like it's it's a great big coupling in the yard that act like an anchor in the, in the dirt kind of looks like you found an old dump huh Yeah, like 10 inches. I found a garbage dump or something. Glass, porcelain, metal, glass bottles. What else you say? Clay? Like bricks, for sure. Oh, wow. Lovely. Well, our, our biggest thing is not to have to mess with the flower bed and especially the patio. Or the deck. Alright, I gotta have room for my cutters. 
All right, looks like we're back in business. There was a dresser coupling out there in the yard, buried in the dirt, along with a whole lot of trash. Just, just stopping the entire progression. Because ideally, it would have actually started pulling the whole pipe through. And if it was one section of pipe without a great big massive coupling about that wide in the way, yeah, probably would have done it. All right, let's see what they have to say. Here's what we got. Now it makes perfect sense why we were unable to pull this whole line out. This is basically a anchor, anchor in the earth, unable to budge. So it started splitting this open. This is right at the foundation right here. Just outside the foundation they put this coupling. Let's see how big it is, it'll never be able to pull through the earth, through the dirt. Oh, that's nasty looking. It is. About time to get it replaced. Wow. The water lines start looking like after what 50, 60 years, I guess. How did how did it not? I mean, that looks like it's been bad for a long time. It, it has, and it's been leaking in the yard for a little while. So this was just going to be a quick, high-paced video about uh, you know the pits and perils of trying to do uh, pipe slice water line. And uh, this is actually not uncommon. It uh, it's pretty uncommon to have it go smoothly. Of course, you never know what's in the ground, and this is a perfect example of that. And here I am just kind of throwing my camera around because I don't know how to focus on anything as I'm looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, you get the picture and here we go. We got that part done and uh, we're going to be able to pull the rest of the line out. Be good to go. Now we're going to go on our second pull, which is going from uh, the one side of the sidewalk to the next. All right. 